I personally felt like I didn't really learn anything about music until I came. <laughs> I go that far, really. Until I came here, I felt like I'd, no one really taught me about music at all. I didn't, well, I didn't know anything, really, until I came here, I think. I would say ECMA is the European institution. It is not something that is centralised. All the contributions are equally valuable. All partners have the same rights uh, in, and the same duties, of course. Um, and the potential to further develop uh, what there is already is immense. We met Professor Meisel first and he really helped us. It was very touching how generous he was. Uh, we weren't in a very good position. Um, our, our previous second violinist had just left and Ed had just joined very quickly. Um, and he really did so much for us to help us uh, uh, prepare for a competition that we had. Equally, um, Professor Bayerle, uh, he feeds us. We go around to his house, he feeds us, he looks after us. He puts us up, he, um, and he teaches us this incredible way of thinking about music and, and uh, translating it into a language. Uh, so we are, I suppose, very just massively grateful, I suppose, to, to, to both of them for all they've done for us. And we, I don't know, they, we didn't do anything for them. First of all, I think the important thing is that we avoid to give masterclasses. We discovered over the years that every school has some people who are great experts in things where we are not experts. And this way we can, we can uh, create a, a school that has the best people from everywhere that one school could never have. And the master class has nothing to do with what we want. We want to, we want to teach what is interpretation, what is your interpretation, not my interpretation. And this is new. This is, this is not the case in all the master classes you find around the world. And this is ECMA. And that's why ECMA is unique and uh, can hardly be copied. Ja, es ist eben für die jungen Leute wichtig, dass ihnen die Lehrer und diese großen Lehrer, die sie bei ECMA haben, äh, ihnen nicht sagen, das ist die richtige Interpretation, sondern das ist der Weg, durch den ihr eure eigene Interpretation findet. Sehr wichtig ist, dass sie auf dem, in dem gesamten ECMA-System mit ganz verschiedenen Menschen auch, an verschiedenen Menschen Kontakt haben. Und es ist natürlich auch wichtig, dass sie in die verschiedenen Kulturen hineinkommen. Es ist etwas anders, in Wien zu spielen oder in Florenz zu spielen oder in London zu spielen oder in Paris zu spielen. Und das gibt ihnen auch etwas mehr äh, ein, ein Gefühl für das, was aus, der, äh, aus den verschiedenen nationalen Kulturen kommt und auch in die Musik hineinkommt. I think one of the things that's absolutely unique about ECMA is the attention given to the Viennese school, to the two Viennese schools, and to a real understanding of what this music meant in a, in a cultural and historical context. And we see that this is something that, is, that we are not familiar with in France. And yet I think we bring, obviously, our knowledge of French tradition um, to the ECMA project so that it's very much an exchange. Le piano est un instrument de percussion, on le sait. Mais le faire chanter, utiliser, comme euh, au moins simuler de, de pouvoir jouer comme un instrument de corde ou un instrument à vent, C'est ça qui fait euh, la grande différence de l'approche de l'instrument. Il faut aussi avoir l'expérience d'avoir joué sur des anciens instruments pour connaître un peu aussi le goût des compositeurs qui avaient, euh, ils avaient affaire à ce, ce genre d'instrument. Par exemple, quand on joue un Schumann, 
Il faut comprendre que les fabricants des instruments à l'époque fabriquaient des instruments selon le goût des clients ou des musiciens. C'est ce qui n'existe pas aujourd'hui. On a une fabrication unique, donc l'artiste est obligé de chercher l'individualité de l'instrument ou mettre son individualité dans l'instrument. Je pense qu'à la fin, ce qui est très important, c'est la connaissance des couleurs et l'écoute, surtout. Parce que moi, je suis persuadé qu'on n'est pas capable de faire de la musique si on n'est pas capable de l'écouter de la musique avant de jouer l'instrument. The most important thing, I suppose, is they're really teaching us how to interpret the music. And I think it's, it's probably one of the only places where you can get lots of different schools of thought sort of all pooled into one, one place, um, rather than having to go for individual lessons in different countries. And yeah, it's, it's great. Yeah, I think we all agree that it's life-changing experience for us, definitely. And since we've been on ECMA, the whole um, the way we we look at the music, we study the music, is completely different. Dadurch merke ich, dass jedes Mal äh, nach einigen ein paar Monaten oder auch weniger sind sie immer wieder gewachsen und schauen immer mehr in die Musik und in dem, was um die Musik ist hinein, verstehen sich besser und verstehen besser, was sie tun sollen. Thank you.